This is not in any particular order. It's not the most to least use items. These are really category of items that I really, really enjoy and that for me, they are really good purchases. In fact, best purchases sometimes. Does that mean that they're all gonna work out for you? No. You should always buy what works for you and what you love. Again, this whole journey is challenging enough. We shouldn't make it more hard on us to buy things that we're not in love with. We've all heard that the Hermes journey is pretty challenging and that if you are ready to embark on one, that you would want to buy things that are from different categories. After three years into my journey, I have a little bit of experience. <laughs> Overall, I would say that I did pretty well in terms of buying exactly what I love and use. And yes, some things didn't work out, but this would happen in any brand, not just at Hermes. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you my top most used items. This could be an inspired list for someone who is starting their journey or just if you're curious as to you know what items that I buy from Hermes that I really really use a lot. The first thing that I'm gonna recommend is the Kelly belt. If I could only recommend one color because I know I will get asked this question, I would just go with the classic black and gold. You just cannot go wrong with black and gold but of course you go with what you wear the most. My version of the Kelly belt is actually called the Kelly pocket belt. So there's a detachable little pocket to make it into like a little belt bag. And it does add value actually. This is not only great to use as an actual card holder, it just makes my outfit look so much more pulled together. Highly recommend. I definitely use my Kelly belts a lot. I have three of them, fully adjustable. It will fit everyone and it's just one of the best, literally best, best, best belt out there. Aesthetic wise, if you have different other brands that you want to mix and match in your styling, this belt goes with everything. Literally goes with everything. Okay, the second thing I'm going to recommend, I have a bunch of them. You've already seen them, but this one is new. And so yeah, let's unbox it together. I mean, I've already used it. So it's not so new to me. But the second item that I wanted to recommend are their silk scarves. They are just wonderful. So this is the one that I bought. If you want a screenshot, I love this scarf. It's so pretty. This one is new-ish. It's not their newest collection, but it's pretty new. And it's just so fun. It has all of these loops and it's called Doré. Doré book. So Doré, it's like Doré me. It comes in different colorways but my point is not that you should buy this exact scarf my point is that their 90 centimeter silk scarves are just so versatile even if you don't wear it as a top it's just so easy to just drape it on you and kind of add to your outfit as well like it doesn't have to be a top to add to your outfit it's just that this size is also perfect to be worn as a top which i have two separate videos for that generally speaking after trying so many luxury brand scarves Hermes does it the best. They also make great gifts. These make really stunning gifts. Every time I gift a scarf to a friend or family, they love it so much. And the only reason why they don't wear it more often is because they don't know how to tie it. But honestly, it's so easy. Just even if you just wear it one way, one way only, it's still worth it. Coincidentally, one of the ways to pre-spend more is to look for your gifts for friends and family at Hermes. If you're gonna pre-spend anyway because you're on this journey to get quota bags, you might as well try to find the gifts at Hermes, right? So a lot of these can be gifts. I know not everyone is gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to Hermes and buy homeware and be really excited about it. They do make very beautiful homeware though, so don't get me wrong. I just don't think that you should just buy things like sushi trays and things like that just because they're popular doesn't mean that you need to buy them you know what i mean my point is that homeware is a really great way to um get to know the brand and really experience the luxury something that you will use on a daily basis so maybe not this so much however if you do decide to dwell into the homeware section which is a great way to splurge but still not gonna break the bank Go for mugs and go for little dishes that you use every day. If you eat your cereal every morning, the same cereal, buy those items that you use every day and you can enjoy 
a piece of luxury every single day and it doesn't break the bank with these chinas and glasses and everything they do break if you get into accidents but um, I guess it's a small price to pay in terms of like still be able to contribute to your pre-spend but also get the experience of a luxury home piece every day so I do recommend homeware um, just be careful not to buy the very popular items that makes no sense in your life okay the next item is a shoe item so I specifically am recommending their sheep sandals I know everyone is into their sandals anyway so I don't really need to recommend them further but I'm just telling you the stuff that I actually use every day. One of the items that I use a lot, especially in the summertime, are my sheep sandals. I have five pair myself and I do rotate them based on the color of my outfit. So this just happens to be the black pair. And if you have questions about the comfort and all the pros and cons about these sandals, I have one video that I made super comprehensive. I talked about how these sandals scratch my skin to death and everything and how I mitigate the, <laughs> the issue. Even though the sheep sandals are not perfect, but I do make them perfect for me. And if you want to know how, just check out my video. But yeah, sheep sandals definitely um you know they are popular for a reason it's because they're so easy to style it literally goes with everything casual and to a certain extent you can even wear some mini dresses with this which really speaks volume in terms of how versatile they are and yes of course because i live in canada we only have a few months of summer so it's not like i can wear this all year round but for the summertime that's what i live in i live in these sandals all the time so they really are worth the money for me in terms of cost per wear. Well, I have three pairs of loafers, two of which are my favorite and the other one I cannot stand. This is the Royal Loafer, so it has the tassels. And this one is the Paris Loafer, which does not have the tassel. Now, just because I recommend these loafers and these shoes doesn't mean that they're gonna be working out for everyone. Just be aware that everyone's feet shape are very, very different. Okay, the next category of items that I must share, and you probably have sort of seen it on my hands, I just love their rings. Almaz makes some of the most beautiful jewelry designs out there, and as long as you find the one that is right for you, they're just divine. This one is probably my favorite. It's a diamond ring, so it is pretty pricey, and it's in white gold. Works so well with my stack. And it's my favorite ring. Now, does this mean this is the ring for you? Not necessarily. I'm just saying that their diamond jewelries are just so beautiful. And when you start shopping fine jewelry, it can get pretty expensive. But there are still entry pieces, which I'm going to recommend as well. So in terms of rings, if you're into rings, these ones are a little bit more affordable, uh, especially the one on top, this one right here. This one is the very, very classic CDC ring, Collier de Chien it's just so cool and edgy this is one of their most substantial ring that doesn't break the bank for solid <laughs> it was for solid 18 karat gold of course there's the kelly ring which is not far off from the cdc ring it's a little bit more expensive but absolutely my favorite rose gold ring that i own from almaz this is absolutely the one that uh, if i had to do it all over again this is the one that i'm gonna buy first and then this one is my newest one. This one is called Clou de Forge. And um, this one is the small model with diamonds. So it's a little bit more pricey. These are just some of my recommendations. You don't have to buy these ones exactly. Um, their fine jewelry ranges from some more entry level pieces to some very, very expensive pieces. I love rings because rings, um, I wear them all the time. I always put them on before I run out the door. So for me, rings make a lot of sense. But another piece that I actually wear literally 24-7 is my necklace. So this one necklace here is also from Hermès. It's called the Farandol necklace. And it's one of their one of their best entry fine jewelry pieces. You cannot go wrong. Obviously, if you already have other necklaces and it doesn't look good together, don't buy it. I'm just saying that for me, this has become my permanent stack along with my other necklaces that I wear and other jewelry that I style and switch around with. Uh, but in general, I would say for me, their rings, this necklace has all been really worth it for me because I wear them all the time. How could I not talk about the makeup 
category. Not only for diversifying your purchase history, but they also make great gifts. Again, these are pretty bougie makeup and they are expensive for what they are, but they also perform and they make really, really amazing gifts. Whoever you give these to will be so happy, I'm sure. Let's talk about their lipsticks and lip oil. They're just fantastic formula-wise, color payoff, all of that jazz. I love, love, love their lip oil. It's just a great everyday put in your purse type of thing to get moisture on my lips instead of a lip balm. And it gives me a little bit of color as well. And I love, love, love that so much. I love putting this on right after I eat because I would have, you know, wiped my lipstick off. In terms of their lipstick, they're also super great. And this one is a limited edition, but even within their classic line, they have beautiful colors. And I just cannot get enough of their lipsticks because the packaging for their lipsticks is just the most luxurious and so beautiful. They are also refillable, these ones. So after you're done with the whole bullet, you can replace the cartridge and reuse the beautiful packaging, which is so luxurious. Guys, this, this is so beautiful, guys. In terms of powders, I have two. This one, you guys would already have seen in uh, one of my videos. I've done a review on their bronzers. They are good. I don't think that they are a necessity. At the time, I was willing to experiment and to buy an expensive bronzer for myself and I I use it. I enjoy it. Is it the is it the greatest bronzer out there? No. There are so many out there at Sephora or wherever that will perform very well for you. But my point is not that. My point is that if you're going to pre-spend anyway and you love makeup, you can try it. <laughs> so it's going to be expensive. Um, but that's not the point. Everything at Hermes is expensive. The whole journey is expensive. And it's not about money all the time. It's just about experience. You know what I mean? So uh, I have the color 2 Atlas. And I do wear it on every video that I'm on. This one is my new baby. So technically... <laughs> Let's unbox it, I suppose. Let's rebox it so we can unbox it. So they come packaged like this with a uh, white uni carton on top of this. But yeah, essentially they come packaged like this. So that's what I mean by their packaging is just so dreamy and like when you get them as gifts, it's just so nice. Which is why I bought so many of this exact blush for gifting. And I just love this blush. So this is the new blush and it's in the lightest color. Some of you commented on my videos that you're wondering what highlight I was wearing and I don't wear any highlights. It's all from this blush. This blush is so beautiful because it has it has the same color payoff as their old blushes which are all matte but it also has that really subtle sheen that just makes you look like you glow from within which is why I love 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 this blush so much that I bought so many color 35 Rose Doré. I just simply love it so much. It has a little bit of that peachy, pink peachy undertone. Um, it has a gold shimmer, but it's not crazy at all. Like as you guys see, very subtle and very, very natural in a way. And it's all from this blush. Okay, the next item I'm going to recommend is absolutely affordable and a really great way to get into their clothing line. But it's not quite their classic ready to wear, it's their equestrian line. So this is a great way to splurge on clothing, especially with ready to wear, they get very, very, very pricey. If you're not quite ready, but you still want to buy clothes, their equestrian line is just excellent at kind of dipping your toes into clothing. They are going to be more sporty and the fabric's going to be different for sure. They're going to be more technical fabrics because it's for sports, right? But that's beside the point. One of the best items that I have bought um, for my husband, the blue one that I got him last year, he has worn countless times i can't even count how many times he's worn it actually was it last year or was it the year before it could have been the year before i bought him this one i just bought him this year and um he's worn the blue one countless countless time i think he's just treasuring the the orange one and maybe orange is a little bright as well but 
This is their equestrian line. They're just gorgeous. They have these palladium hardware buttons. Uh, it has a contrast color on underneath the, the sleeves and the neckline. And they make it for girls as well. So it's not just for men, but if you're looking again to buy gifts for other people or for yourself, if you do a lot of exercise and diversify your purchases, their equestrian line, especially for me, especially the polos are just great. They're just amazing. This category is probably the most favored category that your essay is going to be very, very happy that you shop because it is huge brownie points and they are just, they're ready to wear classic ready to wear line. Again, like I said, these things that I'm mentioning, uh, they're not in any particular order. It does not mean that one is better than the other. They're just 10 different categories of items that I have really truly enjoyed and that uh, I wear the most. Generally speaking, I just love their tops, their cashmeres a lot. The one that I'm wearing right now is absolutely one of my favorite. It looks very simple. It doesn't even have logos but it's made of this cashmere cotton blend in such a way that when you wear it or when you look at it from afar, it just screams really nice quality and just, just comfy. Uh, this is also 100% cashmere and it's just one of those t-shirts that every time I put, put it on, it not only keeps me warm, but it's it's just an easy way to dress up without having to think too hard about it. I also like it when they have a lot of patterns sometimes, but the pattern for me has to be um, tasteful <laughs> and, and somewhat uniform as well. So for me, these two are some of my favorite pieces that I got from the house that I wear all the time, especially this sweatshirt. It's just so cute. This sweatshirt is very, very nice, so cozy. This was one of my first ready-to-wear pieces that absolutely took my breath away. I bought this during my first year of my journey. I remember how beautiful it looked when I put it on. The moment I put it on, I was like, this is it. This is my shirt. It's so gorgeous. For me, they are absolutely worth it. Does that mean that they're all gonna work out for you? No. You should always buy what works for you and what you love. Just because they work for me and I love them doesn't mean that it's going to work for everyone. Again, this whole journey is challenging enough. We shouldn't make it more hard on us to buy things that we're not in love with. Regardless of what I have shared, I think it's really important for you to stay true to yourself because there's nothing worse than to regret a purchase. And I also have my fair share of items that I bought that I don't really use and they're just sitting there collecting dust and I don't like that. But sometimes you just don't know so it's not really your fault either. Like for me, there are things that I bought that I thought would work out and that uh, I was willing to try maybe but in the end it was just not for me or maybe it just didn't really work for my style and I thought I could make it work and whatnot. So just keep that in mind and it's not about prices. Does it mean that buying the more expensive stuff is gonna help you more? No, not necessarily. But does that mean that you should always buy the cheapest things also only? I don't know if that's gonna help you either because that's gonna build your your profile really, really slowly. Keep all of those things in mind when you are doing your journey. I'm also very curious as to what are your favorite and most used items at Hermes. I know a lot of you are into your Hermes journey as well, so please do share it down below in the comments. If you have any questions regarding the items that I have shared or those that I haven't shared, like the opposite of this, let me know. That way I can maybe make a sequel. Having said that, you might be interested in my last two Hermes unboxings. Pretty epic unboxings, so I will have have them linked in the screen right now and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!